What is going on guys? Today we are watching Tarot Guard Season 1, obviously, Episode 4. Uh, excited to get this episode because we are, you know, in the midst of something crazy, a bit crazy right now. But let's talk more through that for the opening. And uh, let's get right into the episode right now. My click was not on target because my hand was here. <laughs> uh, brilliant. So... In the last episode, what happened in the last episode? We had Bam, Kun, and Rack uh, about to jump into the second round of the Kings game, I believe. They wanted to wait till the third round, I believe, but Rack was like, you know, typical Rack. Wanted to fight, that's the only reason he's there. And currently, the team that controls the King, the King's crown, the crown in the Kings game, is the little, the lizard girl, the swordsman dude and the plain looking transported from another world neat looking dude so i'm kind of interested in all all of those people obviously so mainly the lizard girl and the transported from another world dude because is he powerful is he just literally that that he, he's transported from another world kind of but they're all born in this in, in the tower so what i can tell from so far so He's just kind of, he might just be a regular human. There might be something special about him. I don't know. But I'm excited to see how this is the, the results of this This is going to go. Whose teams are going to get evicted and whatnot. Who's going to die if anybody dies? I don't know. Um. Yeah, see how this episode goes. There's also Rachel as well, or Rahel, or whatever, the, how the heck they uh, say it. We'll see what's going to happen. Rahel. Yeah, he sees her. I don't know. Yeah, you think she might have, would have, but maybe she's not. Where do I know this voice from? Someone tell me, please. Sounds like overhaul. Is it overhaul? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Did nobody read it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love the expressions in this episode already. It's only like a minute in. Killing arts. <laughs> oh, I thought he already pressed it. Nobody came. 
Oh, somebody came. Two teams. Cool. That means one you're both gonna have to fight. And this one's like strong team. <laughs> oh. You're absolutely right. Okay. Why did he throw a sword up? How is it still floating? Oh god. Ooh. Okay. I didn't know he was actually a good fighter, but obviously he has to be for to get through this, I suppose. He's got to be the strongest. Good shipper. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of this sleeping dude, I'm not going to lie. He's like the trump card or something. Why? He's the one who asked? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I definitely know his voice as well. Oh god, this... There's a lot of voice actors I recognise. Really?
Oh. <laughs> Damn. Salt's gone nuts. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. A sword's crazy. Dude looks like a goddamn uh <sighs> I'm putting my thinking of cocoon, yeah. Or a blunt. <laughs> oh what the hell? What is he doing? <laughs> Is this like a magical blanket? Yes, probably. Bro, tell me what the weapon is, man. Hmm. It wants to fight. It wants the fight. <laughs> oh shit, this is going nuts too. Yada. Disqualified is okay, but like they can still travel, right? Up the tower or whatever. Ooh, what the fuck's going on? No, Rock, it doesn't want to fight you. I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is that? She's left the throne. She's nuts. And she's about to get disqualified for one, losing the f leaving the throne, and two, entering their room. Because it likes me? What the fuck? If you let that thing go, it's gonna like impale her, I swear. <laughs> um, the blade seems to think different. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> she's she's one of them. She's a fucking princess.
fight me for it. <laughs> Does he, why would he even want it? Yeah, why would he? Okay, maybe it'd be better if you had the hair blade, if she's going to try that. Oh. Oh, this team's about to pop off. <laughs> I cannot wait, and I guarantee it's not going to be this episode, and I'm going to shoot myself. <laughs> that girl. Her. What did she say? That girl. She gives off the princess vibe. Imposter? What? She's probably a princess. And Lizard Girl is probably also a princess, but... She's looked down upon because she's a lizard girl. I suppose, maybe. That's my theory. And that's fucking rude because lizard girls can be princesses. Fuck you. Especially not girls. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm all for gender equality. Trying... Sorry, what? Seb! Seb! <laughs> really? Oh, look, it's Rona and Zoro again. <laughs> Whoa. It's every oh, everyone's fighting in this round. Goddamn. She's saying that in her mind? Rubbery body. And you're, you're tiny. You're a squirrel, basically. And I have a knife. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Who was that? 
Oh. That's the king right there. It's if he put the if he puts the crown on, he wins the game. So you want to fight? Ooh, cool, holding a knife like that. You call the ship, bro. What is that bag? <laughs> so they have to get the crown but they also have to be on the throne so once they battle it out for the crown and there's only a few left Kuhn takes out the last of them before they can get to the throne I mean that's smart Was that a fake crown? Oh my god, it was. <laughs> Let Rack battle, come on. Oh, was there... A, there's more than three rounds? Bish, what? No, nah, what the fuck? What the hell is going on? Ugh, five hour song. Ooh. So, that was Tower of God, episode four, season one. Uh, very good episode. Uh, it's very nice to see some action and, you know, the whole more getting into the characters. The expressions were hilarious. I loved it. Even from, like, you know, serious characters like Lizard Girl. I'm from characters you don't see talk as much. I liked, I really liked Conan in this episode. Like, wow. He was so mysterious, but so interesting. He's smart as well, but he got Bam on the throne. And so their tactic for their team is they are going to put the weakest, weakest guy on the throne. Is he the weakest? Oh, I don't know. But uh, at this moment in time, weakest. He doesn't know enough about himself probably yet. I don't know enough about him. I don't read this series. So, this is all speculation for me, but I will say my theory about the lizard girl being, you know, the ugly duckling of the uh, the princesses, I feel like that could be true, um, which is sad. So, like, her, her and Yuri are probably nice princesses, maybe, and then the others are assholes or something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, overall, very good episode, I enjoyed it, and... I can't, can't wait for the next episode. I can't wait to see how this game turns out. And I can't wait to see what the other teams are going to be like with Bam, Kun, and Rack. Especially Rachel's team. And especially the girl who I believe is a princess too. Who was calling the lizard girl an imposter. Uh, so yeah. Anyway guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your week. And peace out.